What is up, you guys? Y'all can't see the top of my head. Hold on. Okay. What is up, you guys? My background is so janky. Uh, I hate this stupid background. Jesus, that's why I can't wait till I get my new stuff. Please try to ignore this janky background. Please, please, please. That made me a little better. Okay. So, you guys, I'm coming to you with my second story time. Uh, my first one did really well. My first one did really well. So, I was thinking of coming back, doing another one. I tried to be that Kelly. It was probably every day, but you know. So yeah. Hope you liked it. Hope you guys like this. Like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. To become a part of our fam. 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 And uh bye you guys. Let's get into this nasty little story time. Okay. This happened when I was about I want to say within the 10 to 13 ratio 10 to 13 age or age range and uh, my mom had this friend um, that she met at church and you know we had been going to the church for years and you know they had been friends for a while and um she, I'm gonna call her Mrs. Appleseed. Mrs. Appleseed. Okay. So Mrs. Appleseed and my mom were talking one day, and Mrs. Appleseed decided that she was gonna invite us to her sister's house, Mrs. Cranberry, and um, eat dinner. I don't know if it was Sunday dinner or just like plain dinner. So Mrs. Apple, apple seed, Mrs. Apple seed decided she was gonna take us to Mrs. Cranberry's house to eat dinner. Yes. Um. So you know, my mom, you know, nice. She, you know, you can't just refuse. Like, no. She was like, yeah, okay, we'll go. And you know, she asked me. I always go everywhere with my mom, so I was like, yeah, I go. Um. First off. We're driving in the car, Mrs. Appleseed's car, and she's telling us how good Mrs. Cranberry is, how great of a cook she is. She can cook this, she can cook that, she can do this, she can do that, she can do that. All this stuff talking about how good her cooking is. So you know, you know if anybody, especially that's black, the African American, black, what have you, they say somebody's cooking is good. You walk up in there expecting all the goodies like you like you gonna leave and you gonna never want to eat for 20 years that's how you gonna feel and so i'm like oh. I guess that's how or whatever. so first off it was in like this horrible neighborhood and so i was like but then you have to think about it black folks horrible neighborhood probably got some good cooking going on probably so you know i was a little kid you know i really wasn't minding it or whatever we step into the house everything was fine as soon as we stepped in like this way but as soon as you turned this way and you went into the kitchen there was a family reunion of roaches. Huh. Okay, I don't even know where I left off. Uh, I don't even know where I left off. Oh, yeah. Um, so we walk in. We walk in. And you know everything was nice. It was clean, like when you first walk in. 
But when I turned the corner, I was like, do y'all not see these roaches on the walls and on the food having a family reunion? Like, that's not okay. That's, it's, it's not okay. It's, that was nothing okay about that. And they was just standing there like it was nothing there. Like they didn't see them. They didn't feel them crawling on their toes or nothing. Like, I was like, okay, in my mind, like, it's okay to have maybe two or three little critters at a time. But, um, when roaches having family dinners in your cabinet and nightly meetings in your refrigerator, that is not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay at all. Especially roaches having bi-weekly meetings on your silverware. That's even worse. Like, and I'm just looking at my mama trying to signal to her. Like, do you not see this nastiness, mom? Do you not see this nastiness? Like, I'm not gonna stay here and all these roaches crawling on everything, crawling on the food. And what was bad about it? They tried to ask me did I want to eat something. Bitch, I done turned into an Asian. No, I don't want to eat no roast infested food. Y'all got roaches crawling all everywhere. And I guess it's normal to y'all to have extra family members or whatever. But that ain't normal to me. I don't like bugs, and I definitely don't like them crawling out stuff I'm putting in my mouth. Roaches carry diseases. They ask, do we want something to eat? I said, no, I'm I'm not hungry. I ate before I came. My mama, she gon' get her a plate. And I'm trying to tell her, mama, it was roaches crawling on the silverware tonight. Dad, you gon' eat roach boo boo, roach boo boo. And she did not care. She didn't care. And so I went outside and played with whoever because I was not about to um, tolerate that nasty shit. I wasn't gonna tolerate that. I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't tolerate that. I don't know how that feels. Uh, truly, honestly, don't. Never been that way. Never felt that emotions. And um. I was just like not going like like I said so I stayed outside and um it was just crazy like it was just a disgusting like I would not I would not have even offered nobody to come to my house and I was so mad at Mrs. Apple Cherry Apple Bomb whatever her name was I was so mad at Mrs. Apple Bomb for even bringing us over there like that's not how you do a first impression of your fam and they house dirty no 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 but um yeah I, it was just it ended and i was just like coming back and i was telling my mom like why did you do that like them roaches just had a weekly meeting on their cornbread and you ate it so you made it was good no but um yeah the night ended and they like we watched like a movie or something and Mrs. Applebaum, Apple Mrs. Applebaum, um, dropped us back off at home, and you know that was pretty. That was pretty much the end of that. But um, thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys found this story time as good as as great as you did the first one. I hope it does as great as the first one did, and um. Y'all need to know not to be messing with folks with dirty houses because one, that is nasty and dangerous because you could bring that back to your house and your house can get infested. So, you know, don't be going over nobody's house just eating their food willy-nilly. Your mama should have taught you that. She should have taught you that. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got, you guys. Short story time. Short story time. But, um, 
like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what was your favorite part down below. And um, thanks for watching.